Hey, I'm Nick and welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. So we went to the farm today, picked some fresh strawberries, got some nice fresh rhubarb. It's a great day. So now got a lot of strawberries, a lot of rhubarb, got to do something with it. So we're going to make a strawberry rhubarb crisp. Really great summer dessert, really easy to make, really delicious. Let's get right into it. Start by getting our strawberries and rhubarb washed. So since we picked these strawberries ourselves and we're the only ones to come in contact with them, we don't have to go too crazy with cleaning them, so we just have to rinse them off. A lot of times you get strawberries, especially any type of berry where you eat the skin, you know, it's covered in pesticides and all other chemicals. So we could get away with just rinsing them off with cold water here. Otherwise, I would use like a vinegar solution or baking soda. So our strawberries are washed, we put them to the side. Our rhubarb, first thing we want to do is remove these greens. These are not edible. They're actually quite harmful for you. Go ahead and make sure those are all removed. Take off the bottoms here. Those aren't going to be nice to eat. And like our strawberries, we'll give these a nice rinse under water. So we get any dirt or sediment off these. All right, so we got our rhubarb and strawberries cleaned. So now we're just going to separate them into two different bowls. Take our rhubarb first, and you don't want to cut these too small because they will break down. I like about this, this size is good, about quarter inch. Because we're going to be able to see the rhubarb in our crisp. We don't want it to just completely break down. All right, I'll do that for the rest of the rhubarb. All right, we got our rhubarb. We got four cups here. Do the same for our strawberries. Clean them up those off. These are pretty small so we'll have these. Same thing, we'll get four cups. Equal parts rhubarb to strawberries. All right, we got our strawberry and rhubarb cleaned up. So now we're going to take our sugar and we're going to divide it and add it to our rhubarb. A little more than half to our rhubarb. We're going to let that hang out. And what that's going to do is going to remove some of the bitterness from the rhubarb. We'll let the rhubarb sit to the side while we add the rest of our ingredients to our strawberries. And then we'll make our crumbled topping. So we got our strawberries. We'll take the zest from half an orange. This really complements the strawberry and the rhubarb nicely. I like the orange flavor in there. It's going to go well with our crumble because we have some ginger in there too. And we'll add the juice from that orange. I don't want to get any seeds in there. And I have all the ingredients listed in the description. Pure vanilla. Cornstarch. Help thicken this up. Get that all coated. Got the oven preheated to 350. So for our crumble topping, we'll take our butter. And they have equal parts all-purpose flour, brown sugar, quick cooking rolled oats. Not instant oats, the quick cooking oats. And to that I have a little, little bit of salt added with some ground ginger and ground cinnamon. So we'll add all this to our butter. You can put this in a, in a food processor if you want. I find it easier to just use these pastry cutters so we don't need to use more equipment, just more things to clean. So we'll just cut this in until it resembles a nice crumble. All right, that looks good. I like to have some nice chunks in the crumble. Give it some nice texture. All right, add a rhubarb to our strawberries. Mix all that. Smells great. Love that orange in there. We'll just add this to our baking dish. Make sure it's nice and evenly spread out. Put this on top of a baking sheet just in case anything bubbles over. And then we'll just put our crumble topping on top. I mean, how good does that look? It's really such an easy dessert. And then for some added flavor, we'll take some fresh nutmeg. 
Grate that over the top and some fresh cinnamon stick. All right, put that in the oven. We'll check on it in about a half hour. All right, check this out a half hour. It wasn't ready. I let it go another 20 minutes. So we had 50 minutes total in the oven. See, it's bubbling over. Looks awesome. Smells great. That's what you want. Crumbles nice and brown. Let this hang out for a few minutes, then we'll cut it up. All right, let's go ahead and get this plated up. I like to use these mini cast iron pans. Nice vessel for these strawberry rhubarb crisps we got going on here. So we'll just get a nice spoonful right in there. This is still hot. A little bit of ice cream in there. Oh, mint. Look at that. That looks great. Whew. Have to get a spoonful of that. A little ice cream. The fruit. Delicious. Mmm. Really good. Give this strawberry rhubarb crisp a try. It's really delicious. Hit the like button. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. We'll see you next time.